Welcome to Research World. In this lecture, we will discuss the difference between literature review and systematic literature review. Let's begin. Literature reviews and systematic literature reviews. Both are used to provide a summary of the existent literature or knowledge on a specific topic. The purpose of both is to gain an understanding of the existing research, theories, and debates relevant to a particular topic or area of study. Regardless of this commonality, both types of review vary significantly. In this lecture, I will differentiate both types of reviews by providing practical examples. Let's first start with systematic literature review. Systematic literature review is conducted based on certain number of predefined guidelines or protocols or criteria. The protocol is the detailed plan of the study. These guidelines or protocols are discussed here to give practical examples. Identify your research question. Formulate a clear, well-defined research question. Find existing reviews on your topic to inform the development of your research question. Identify gaps and make sure that you are not duplicating the efforts of previous reviews. Define inclusion and exclusion criteria clearly. State the criteria you will use to determine which studies will be included and which not in your search. Consider study populations, study design, intervention types, comparison groups, measured outcomes. The inclusion and exclusion criteria must be decided before you start the review. Inclusion criteria. For example, people of age group 10 to 20 years suffering from thalassemia disease be chosen. Exclusion criteria. For example, participants of age group 10 to 20 years suffering from thalassemia but also suffering from any other disease must be excluded from the study. Extract data from included studies. The reviewers must read the full text of the articles which were selected for inclusion in the review. Different systematic review software are used to extract all relevant data. Evaluate the risk of bias of included studies. Reviewers must report the potential biases of studies in regards to study design and other factors. Multiple options can be adapted for assessing the potential biases, depending on the types of studies included. Assess the quality of evidence. This requires to check the quality of studies to be included. Researchers are required to target quality journals and other sources. Present results researchers are required to present the results according to predefined protocols study selection, study characteristics, risk of bias within studies, results of individual studies, risk of bias across studies. Note. Check PRISMA for more detailed guidelines for systematic reviews. PRISMA stands for Preferred Reporting Items for Systematic Reviews and Meta-Analyses. So, conducting systematic literature review predefined guidelines or protocols cannot be ignored. Otherwise, it would not be considered a systematic literature review. Systematic reviews are most commonly used in medical, public health, clinical research and public policy given the sensitivity of information in these fields. A systematic literature review is a method to review relevant literature in your field through a highly rigorous and systematic process to answer specific problems. Traditional literature review Literature review and narrative review all are one and same thing. Traditional literature reviews are more general and usually answer broad and descriptive research questions. While conducting traditional literature review, there are no specific guidelines or criteria for searching research topics. There is no inclusion and exclusion criteria. No restrictions regarding articles selection, no restrictions of quality assessment, etc. Traditional literature reviews provide a broad overview of a research topic, critique, and summarize a body of literature about the thesis topic. So, the basic difference between two reviews is the following of certain predefined guidelines protocols in systematic review, and no guidelines in literature review. 
qualitatively summarizes evidence on a topic using informal or subjective methods to collect and interpret studies, high-level overview of primary research on a focused question that identifies, selects, synthesizes, and appraises all high-quality research evidence relevant to that question, often unclear or broad specified specific. Generally provides summary or overview of topic answers. A focused clinical question, no predefined protocols, predefined protocols. Thank you for watching.